Hello Pixlr students, today I'm going to be demoing a new tool in Pixlr, well not completely new, uh, it's called the Color Replace Tool, and quite frankly it's a really powerful tool if you know how to use it, and well I, since I'm just a novice, I'm just barely getting a hang of it as well. Now to really show the colors of this tool I really wanted to get a snap of Toy Story 3. So. This image I have here, I just picked it off from the internet, um, and as you can see, it's from Disney.com.br. So, thank you to them for putting this image up. As you'll notice, we have Buzz Lightyear here, two images, one on the right, one on the left, and you'll notice that there's a very distinct color difference between the two, and which ones are they? You'll notice on his vest, it's green here in the original, and it's red here, or, you know, slight pinkish, I guess, or whatever you want to call that color. And here he has a very purplish um, interior suit, right? And some of these parts are purple. And here now I've changed them to blue, most of them. What we're going to do today is show how to use the color replace tool to sort of get this same color design here. Now I'm not going to use this, com this example um, completely, but I'm going to show you how to do it a little bit. And then I'll show you an optimum example of how to, the tool is really, really powerful. To get started, I'm going to click on this tool here. It has a little brush and it has a little box in there called the Color Replace Tool. I'm just going to left click. And once you left click, these new options up here on the left, upper left side will pop up. And here, you'll notice you can change the brush size. In this case, I'm going to leave it at 25. The tolerance, I'm going to leave it at 50, and this match target lightness, I'm just going to remove. I've noticed that it doesn't work too well in some cases, so I'm just going to keep it off, but you can try it yourself. Now, just to get our hands dirty, uh, before you even start, I want to make sure I click on the color palette, because what's happening here is I'm going to click on a particular section, for instance, this green section, and what's going to happen is the program is going to say, oh, the person has clicked on the green section. I am going to change whatever is in the green section into red. So that's what's going to happen with the tool. So you click on the color picker, make sure you pick the color you want, whatever color you want to change it to. But in this case I want to use red, and I'm going to click OK. And now what I'm going to do is left click on Buzz Lightyear and I'm going to hold the left mouse button and continually color in. And when you do this, be very careful. So um, actually I'm going to change the tolerance a little bit more to 71 and then we'll try this out. As you can see the tool is matching the lightness of the vest or however you want to call this little armor portion here and it's not completely deteriorating the color. You'll notice that um, it's not just a regular brush with a color and it's just gonna overtake the green. It's actually matching the texture and the shading and the color and the depth in here for the most part. I'm not saying it's perfect but it works really well. And you're like, well how do I get this inside portion here? Well be very careful while you're doing this and you'll notice how I've actually captured a little bit of the green there. And that was a mistake on my part. You can actually change the tolerance to help yourself a little bit there. But you'll see here on the red portion, it'll copy it just, it'll go over it just fine and then I'm just gonna release then I'll work on, let's say up here on his glove, let's try this, I'm going to click on here and then go over the tool, you'll notice how it's working really well. Even though I'm going on the, the white portion here, it's, it's not making it red. There's a little bit of uh, t tolerance there, essentially. And then let's try this on his arm. Make sure to click on the green first. If you suddenly just click on the green or on the white portion of his, uh, his suit and you try to do it, it's, it's not going to work. Okay. So if we tinker with the tolerance here, when you increase the tolerance, what it's telling the program is that I'm allowing the computer to take in any color that's close to green and turn it into red. So if I make the tolerance 150 and then I click here, let's say I click on this green, it's going to pick up some other areas here and it's not going to work too well but for some reason it did in this case, so I guess that didn't make sense. Um, 
let's try another area, maybe a better example. So I'm going to jump to his suit or the interior suit and see how that goes. So I've changed the color to blue and you'll notice how it's picking up his face. As I color over his face, it's turning into blue. Ideally, that shouldn't happen. So I'm, I left clicked on his hat or his interior suit and now I'm, I'm mousing over this. That shouldn't happen. Now if I change the tolerance to 75, let's hope this doesn't work. It might, may not. I'll left click again and let's see if it picks it up. You notice how the mouse is going over his face and it's not changing color. That's how the tolerance works in this. So what you want to do is practice with the tolerance on the image you're working on and find out um, what's my buffer essentially. What buffer do you have uh, to work with your, you know, your image? Because if you make the tolerance too great um, you have to be a little bit more careful if, but if you reduce the tolerance you will have a little bit more buffer to work with the image. So I hope that made sense. Um, now I'm going to jump into a different image and show you how the tool how the tool can really make a difference. So in this case I have a friend here he's, her shirt is, his shirt is blue but for instance let's say I want to turn it red so I'm going to go and get the red color I really like the color red I guess and I'm going to change the brush size because the image is kind of large I'm going to say 200 and now I'm just going to left click on the blue area and I'm just going to color in. You'll notice that when I go over the white portion nothing happens because the computer is telling the program is telling it to only cover the blue areas and not the white so it's leaving the white out and you'll notice that as the tool is going over the shirt it's con it's following the texture um, that is in the shirt now you'll notice that I did not click on the match target lightness on the upper left hand option you can practice with that and see the effects that you get with it sometimes it varies but you'll notice that in this particular example that the shirt is almost turning into red and it looks almost as if his shirt was red to begin with. You'll notice I'm still trying to be careful not to overextend my area um, as it can cause problems but you'll notice that for the most part the shirt itself is red now. So there you have it. Here's the color replace tool. You can definitely use it to do so many cool things um, but you just have to practice. Work with the tolerance, work with the match target lightness tool and the brush sizes and you'll definitely get some great results. Well good luck everyone and have fun and enjoy.